society has pandered. Of, so of course we pandered to blacks. They're in every TV commercial. They get, they get more privileges to come into society. They come into every college on preferential with lower test scores. You can't ever say anything negative. You can lose your job. You have your entire life obliterated if you say something racist. And yet we have to have, hear about how racist we are. How about you take responsibility for your own actions instead of blaming the white man? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling Go to the guest. We're back again with a new video. So I'm going to be reacting to Charlie Cook triggers white liberal who says black people are oppressed. Okay, um, I call it Charlie Kick, not Kick. I say Kick. I quite love kicking us. Um, sorry for some of you who were unable to hear me speak. I'm trying to talk slower for you guys to fully understand now. Um, let's get right into today's video. Poof. Believe in reparations okay. for people that are so in a So I, white man, have to play for black people. Why? Wow, that's a really selfish thing you no, no, just said. Hold on, why should that's I have... That's a really non-empathetic thing to Wait, say. Wait, why should I have empathy for a race? People. I'm not saying for you... Huh? Why should the white students here have to work harder to pay for black kids? Hey, you to ask what is that all about? <laughs> that's not racist, that's noticing. How is it the white man's fault that black men started to abandon the women? It's a bigger problem. No, blacks need to take responsibility for the women that they impregnate, not blame the white man for racism. Things affect this. Why? Why did it? Why did it affect the Asians? Why, why did the Asians do so well? America got less racist and the blacks got poorer because we started to subsidize single motherhood and pandering to blacks saying, yes. you do not need to stay around if with you're the women you're pregnant. So you feel like us as a society has pandered? Of, of course we pandered to blacks. They're in every TV commercial. They get, they get more privileges to come into society. They come into every college on preferential with lower test scores. You can't ever say anything negative. You can lose your job. You have your entire life obliterated if you say something racist and yet we have to have hear about how racist we are how about you take responsibility for your own actions instead of blaming the white man i i have to say sir you are a very good soft debater thank you you know a lot of immigrants do come here undocumented and my family and i being one of them jumping the border is not immigration it's not fair to the immigrants from bulgaria and from indonesia and from central africa who didn't have the opportunity to jump the border that had to wait decades to get into this country that will reward people that just happen to be closer to the border, broke the immigration laws, domiciled themselves here, call themselves immigrants when they're really border jumpers. Okay, the first point of view with our students that Charlie triggered. Number one, uh, the white owe the black nothing. <laughs> that is a funny thing. The white people owe the black nothing. A white man have to be very, very careful what he say because any single thing he says, they, they paint him as racist, number one, and number two, he loses his job. And his entire life crashes. Bam. Just at the tink of an eye. Poof. So, um, I, I, don't, I don't know why the black people keep on saying that, that the white people owe us um, reparation. The white people owe us this. Like, they owe you nothing. They were, they, they, they were, not, they were not the cause of your problem. They are not the cause of you impregnating a lot of women. They are not the cause of you spreading a lot of baby mama shit, drug, money, um, in your musics, they're not the cost of that. So if if you have to look at it clear, at a clear picture, you notice the whites are actually kind of like afraid to use some certain word. They're actually afraid to do some certain things because of the reactions of the blacks. They're trying to like pamper the black. And by they're trying to pamper them, it's making the black to do more bad things because the, the black are still poor. They are still poor. They enter college with a low stairs grade. And nothing is changing. The crime rate is still increasing. Fathers are dying. Fathers are going to jail. Single parenting by mothers are, are, are occurring. Children are, turning, are turning, entering into gangs. And creating more havoc, repeating the same circle. It's, it's, it's really serious. It's something we should not tackle with soft soft hand it's something that this was beautiful to watch charlie um speaking out i love how charlie defended um himself and also debates this college student properly and take, uh, open his eyes that like you shouldn't say the black are oppressed they are never oppressed because there's no single thing you say that a white man can do that a black man cannot do 
There's no privilege that a white man has that a black man does not have. It's equal. But what makes the difference is the black man foundation, our black man culture, our way of growing up, our lifestyle. That's what makes the difference between the black and the white. Asians came into America and poor, but they're one of the richest group in, in America. They're one of the richest group in America. What's, what, what's happened? What is the transformation? They don't have the same lifestyle. They don't glorify single parenting. They don't glorify single motherhood. They don't, they don't do that. They're all this together and they grow their children properly. Why are they rich? It's because of their parenting and their background. We, we don't, people don't look in, up to that like, oh, the black are also at fault. They just don't want to see the black at fault. That is the funny thing. The second guy there, um, he was talking about the immigration of it. In. Immigration is something that is very serious. A lot of people are, a lot of people are waiting in different countries, in nations, in, in different other countries around the world to come to America. So, because you are sharing border with America, then they're entering to the country illegally. That doesn't mean they should allow that to keep on occurring. It is bad. Illegal immigration is terrible because they, there's a rule that is regulating it. And people should not say because all the people are suffering in that country. That's why they have to immigrate illegally and enter. Aside your country that is sharing border with the US, other countries want a better life. So, by your country entering to the U.S. illegally, U.S. will have to tackle your country before they will allow other people to come in, which restricts other people from even entering in the first place. So if you think about it, illegal immigration is terrible and something that should be really restricted. This was beautiful to watch. I love the entire video. I love how Charlie handled this and put those students in their places. I love the entire video itself was beautiful to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all